Hello everybody, good afternoon. I'm here with my lovely wife Roslyn, and today we're going to talk about the essential items you need to have for your baby to be. And uh, it's best to get these items um, early on, that way you won't be scrambling to get them after the baby is born. So, uh -huh. so the first thing, fine. the first thing we'll, I'll definitely cover, which is the major one, is the crib. Uh, we got this crib uh, at Walmart. It was, I think, two hundred and sixty-eight dollars. Um, it it's a four-in-one crib changer. Uh, this will actually change from a day bed to a full-size bed to a toddler bed. It also has an attaching crib uh, diaper change area, um, which is very, very unique. You can buy the changers separately, but this one came as a four-in-one. Uh, inside of the crib is our crib mattress. Uh, we already placed the mattress inside. Um, covering the mattress, we have a mattress pad, which is waterproof. And on top of that, we have the actual crib sheet. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say when you, I guess, are get, compiling all these things together, if you want to get it in a theme, you can, but you don't have to. But it is nice if you want to have everything looking cohesive. So we opted for this crib set, which is called the Fiona. It has um, five different components to it. You're going to have a quilt, there's a crib sheet, a dust ruffle, a diaper stacker, and then wall decal towels that will go around. The things that are included in this are the um, four-piece bumper. This is going to go along the edges on the inside so when the baby is in here you won't have to worry about the hands getting caught in the railings. So that's very nice. Um, I believe this is 60, 68 or 69 dollars mm -hmm. I believe. And then after that we have the musical mobile. This will attach to the edge uh, where the baby is sleeping and it will hang down and it will have uh, baby music for them to sleep to. That is 49.99. Yeah, so around $50 mm -hmm. for this. Okay. The uh, next thing we have, we have a six drawer dress dresser. Uh, we put this together. We actually got this dresser over at Big Lots. Um, it comes- That's right. It comes at about 250 pieces and putting them all together takes about, you know, three or four hours. Uh, we do have a video <laughs> compiling on how we put that together, if you'd like to go to that video. Um, other than that, we have the crib blankets, which we should have them right. Here's one of them, right? This is a, one of the baby blankets. This is a nice yeah. little soft material. You can get these for about, what did we get this one for? This is your friend's... Oh, our friend gave us this, this one. So, so these can range anywhere from, you know, $10 to $30. Um, you can get bundles of them as well. But yeah, they're really super duper soft. Uh, we also have crib sheets that were given to our to us from our friends at our baby shower and uh, these will be interchangeable from the sheets that we have you know um, it's good to change the sheets every couple of days um, we also have a swaddle sack uh, for the baby in the when it's a newborn uh, this one has the one that where you can uh, wrap the baby and then I think it zips up and because uh, babies they when they sleep, they like to be held because sometimes when they when they sleep, they will their arms will jut out. So you want them to stay swallowed so that won't, they won't wake them up. How much is this one? Uh, this one's about 22, 22, 22 to 23 dollars. Uh, we also got the swaddles. More swaddlers. These are the ones that actually wrap. And. Um, but I do believe the, the ones with the zippers should be pretty good, but it's good to have more than one. Mm -hmm. And it cost $19.98. We also have some more flannel blankets. We got like a five pack here. These will go um, in the crib 
and I guess we'll change those every once in a while whenever uh, they get dirty. I think that's everything for this inside the crib. That is a receiving blanket. <laughs> oh, it says flannel blanket. Okay, yeah, yeah receiving, receiving blanket. blanket. Oh, otherwise known as, yeah. Yeah, that costs $14.99. We have more of those too. Yeah, this one is the gift for us. It's also a receiving blanket for our baby shower. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, the must have for the sleepy time is if you have a budget, you can buy a glider and ottoman for the mommy who will do the breastfeeding and also the nightstand. And then for the beddings, just like my husband said, crib bedding set, fitted crib sheet, mattress pads, changing table pad, changing table pad cover, receiving blankets, crib blankets, swaddle blankets, and wearable blankets. That is for the bedding and then for the accessories, if you have a budget, you need a humidifier. I think humidifier is needed if you have a newborn baby and also a monitor and a hamper. We have a hamper here cost $22. This one. Mm -hmm. So this is the hamper. It's color pink. So that is the must-have accessories for the sleepy time. And then on the go, we have a travel system, which we don't have yet. We're going to be picking that up soon, um, which will be like a car seat, stroller, carrier type deal. Mm -hmm. um, we do have a diaper bag, which was given to us at our baby shower. We we're very happy about this one. It has a lot of different compartments mm -hmm. and uh, should serve us very, very well. Um, we did get an infant swing. Picked this up yesterday. This actually has um, toys that hang down. It has a, it has a swing mode on there. It also has music that plays. And it's very a nice little comfortable strap to keep the baby nice and secure. So. I think you can pick one of these up. We got this one at uh, Babies R Us for $69.99. So that should be very nice to, you know, whenever mommy wants to be busy in the kitchen cooking, she can be hands-free for mm -hmm. moments. Um, getting dressed, we got clothes here on this side. All of the onesies that she'll need when the baby is first born so about three months we have here so we have this one we got this one carter's i think he gets was it four yeah four for about 12.99 no this is five actually five for 12.99 we also have more onesies and these are gerber you get a three pack here we got some that we got from the uh, gender reveal party that we had and then we also have the side snap ones that Rosalind's mother uh, got for us. So we have plenty of onesies and I'm sure a lot of uh, first time moms, they always wanna go and get outfits for the kids, but mainly the kids will be sitting and will be living in these onesies. Now, as far as sleeping, we have uh, sleep and play. This is, a, I think this is a full body onesie with the little footies on the bottom. And uh, this will be mainly uh, 10 point, 10 yeah, this will be 10 .99. This is a It uses a zipper and then it snaps at the top. But yes, this will be easy in terms of uh, changing the baby uh, and then putting her back to sleep. Mm -hmm. We also have burp cloths here. Got about four of these. We'll probably end up needing more of these as uh, she gets older. We got yeah. bibs for when feeding. And we also got socks. For our little feet, we got a little six pack here. And we got a couple. Oh, these are mittens because sometimes babies they like to scratch themselves. And we also have the hats that will go on top of her head to keep her head nice and warm. And then the, this one, we have, this is actually all sitting on top of the uh, changer pad. Now this changing pad came with the the crib itself. 
So we had to get a cover for it to keep it clean. So we went and bought a changing pad cover. We got this at Baby R RS. How much was this? Like seventeen? Mm -hmm. Yeah, seventeen ninety nine. And um, my wife, she's actually what was it? You have sort of like a allergic asthma. Yeah. asthma. <laughs> so most of the microfiber textures she can't get because it will trigger her asthma. So this material is fine for her. She made sure to feel it beforehand. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so this will go over the changing pad and this will keep it nice and clean. We'll probably end up getting a couple more of these too. Yeah, and then aside from that, that is for the getting dressed. And for the time to play, the must have has the infant swing, the bouncer, the play yard. You need the play yard sheets play mat or baby gym, the infant toys, the jumper, uh, stationary entertainer, the books, CDs, and music. So all of that. But if you don't have a budget, you don't need to buy all of that. Just the necessary things that you need for the baby. And then now for the feeding baby, you need the breast pump. But we did not buy one because as far as I know... Because uh, we are registered at week and they have a free breast pump that they will give it to us so we will so we did not bought that and then the nursing pad that I need this one the nursing pad <laughs> I need that get about a hundred in these so. yeah but yeah, so that. And then after that, the breast milk storage containers or bags. This one is gift for us. I need that because I will do the breastfeeding for the baby. And then the nursing cover, but we haven't buy that yet. And then the nursing pillow. This is the breast, my breast friend. Why we bought this? What's the reason? This will uh, wrap around your torso and mm -hmm. when the baby is uh, breastfeeding, you'll be able to lay it flat on this little supporting pillow here and uh, it should be good for your back as well. So you won't have to worry about, you know, always hunching over. You can actually sit, sit up in a maintained position and then mm -hmm. maintain your good posture. But yeah, this is a definitely an essential item I would highly recommend. This is cost. Forty dollars. Yeah, you can get this at Babies R Us. Yeah, so. and also you need a baby support pillow that we did not bought, and then also bottle starter set, bottles, slow flow nipples, and then medium flow nipples, fast flow nipples, pacifier, pacifier holders, teethers, and high chair. But we did not bought all the, all of that because. I will breastfeed. I will do breastfeeding. So I don't need bottles yet. And then for the caring for the baby, the pairing, the pairing. We got this uh, Balmex yeah. multi purse. This is actually for a diaper rash. Yes. And I believe this also is for her chafed skin as well. So this will be something good to use. Um, I believe they said it, uh, not to use uh, baby powder. Yes. With the, when changing the baby. That costs $5. Yeah. So. And then the next one, of course, diapers. The main one. We'll you probably, need that. This is just a starter, but we'll probably be going through a lot of these. Mm-hmm. And you need baby wipes. Now, the baby wipes you can get, they actually have... That is 100... This is 920 baby wipes. Yeah, it costs $24. And then you need also a diaper pails and refills, but we did not bought that. And this one, the other wet tissue. Mm -hmm. The one that gave to us. And then now, so that is all for the diapering. And now we will do the butting. <laughs> so you need the baby bathtub, but we did not bought it yet. Mm -hmm. Then we need baby bath towels. The baby bath towels is this time. This one here. 
Yeah. And that one is the baby bath towels at the same time the washcloth. So you need this, that. Yeah, this is uh, it, you can all get this at Baby's R Us. It's really nice yeah, it that it's all. Yeah, it costs eighteen dollars, and you need of course the shampoo and body wash and body lotion. That one costs twenty nine dollars. It's all com it's complete, and also a friend gave us another. Sleepy time uh, wash Lotion. kit. Lotion. Baby shampoo. Mm -hmm. This has bedtime wash and conditioner. Yeah. And then <sighs> for the health and safety, you need the grooming kit that cost uh, $20. This one cost $20. This one. And then the other one, this one gave it to us. And so it's better to have more than one. Yeah, and together with the uh, grooming kit, it has a brush, nail clippers, and then thermometer that you needed. And of course, you need a nasal aspirator. Marco said that's only for a mom. <laughs> it's moms only. <laughs> that's why they don't have any daddies on here. It's for moms only. I won't be using this because of sanitary reasons. I would rather, you know... Wow. One person's germs use it, so wow. it should be nice. So, nasal aspirator, that one, nose Frida, mm -hmm. that is the most moms bought uh, that brand is good. Because I searched a lot of brand and that is the best one. It's not so and bad. it's also, it's cheap. Mm -hmm. And then the next one is the first aid, starter first aid kit. kit. That costs $10. You need that. What's inside, hun? You're going to have um, 10 3 inch kid friendly bandages, 10 designer bandages. Uh, you're going to have three sheer plastic bandages, knee and elbow bandages, hand sanitizers, thermometer, which is a one time use, four diaper trash sacks. And then on the second container, you have gauze pads. Uh, gauze pads uh, tape roll, cotton swab, splinter remover, tushy wipes, and then in the third container you have a cold pack, you have sting free antiseptic wipes, tweezers, small scissors, two exam gloves, and a tripod case. So this is perfect for your diaper bag, stroller, your car, or if yeah, you're traveling. Correct. Then the next one you need, of course, the nipple cream. That costs $10. Because your nipple might sore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all about, you know, the baby latching on correctly. And if the baby doesn't latch on correctly, then yeah, it could possibly create a sore for your nipples. We have teethers. This is actually a gift that was given to us. It's a bacon teething ring. It's pretty cool. I thought it was bacon flavored, but it's only just <laughs> just with bacon. And then we have a story time gift set. This was actually was this a gift? Yeah. Yes, is. this was a gift at our uh, baby reveal party. Okay, and also we need a detergent. Yes. So we got some baby detergent. You can get this also at Babies R Us. That is nineteen dollars. Mm hmm. Mm. So that's that. Is that everything? And then we need the storage box. This is our container, which we'll be putting all of the uh, baby stuff in. The baby uh, lotion, shampoos, and all that stuff. All the bath stuff is going to go in here. Okay. So aside from that, uh, it's included on your must-have, on, on your health and safety, the baby gates. What is baby gates, huh? That's going to be a, a plastic gate that's going to be two pieces. It's going to stretch out to the width of the hallway. So if you needed to block off an area, say you're going to be vacuuming a room or something, and you, you want the baby to not be in that room, but you don't want you want to be in where the baby you can see the baby, you just oh. block off the gate. And usually it comes with like uh, two gates, so if you need a section off an area, you can do that. So. Okay, you need also the outlet covers and plugs. I think that is very important, especially when babies, babies... are very curious and they like to stick their hands in things and. Um, you know, 
even if they have toys that have handles on them, they like to uh, find those wall sockets. So it's good to have those little plastic covers to cover up the holes. Mm -hmm. And also you need the cabinet and drawer latches. Uh, this is to keep the drawers from like tipping over. Um, you want them fastened to the to the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually yeah. have a, a latch for the uh, six drawer dresser just so that doesn't get pulled down. So. Okay, and also you need a handle and knob locks, edge and corner cushions, and then furniture, TV, wall straps. So all of that are the must-have and the rest of the must-have we did not bought yet because we waited for our baby Daenerys to be born before yeah. we will buy some yeah. of the stuff. We uh, it, It's good to be prepared and you know have the necessities and mm -hmm. then you know get the stuff that you want later so uh, so that's all the must have checklist but you don't need to buy everything as in everything it's based on your budget at the same time for those that you just need i would say about you know 200 years ago they didn't have any of this stuff mm -hmm. so um, it's very possible, you know, for you to go for alternative methods. I believe there are washable diapers, there are washable wipes. I've, I've seen a lot of uh, a lot of things that are alternatives to this. You know, I mean, if you have extra long pillows, like body pillows, you could use. You could totally substitute that. Um, if you want to get uh, what's it called? If you wanted to take a trip to Walmart and grab. Uh, dish towels or baby, oh not dish towels, but you know like hand cloths, you could use those as burp cloths instead of the actual ones. So, um, you know, this is our first baby so we wanted to make sure that we were prepared and she had everything she needed. So, um, we will definitely update you all and let you know how this journey is and we'll see you next time on our next video. Okay, thank you guys. Bye bye. Take care.